Welcome to the Pauper Gauntlet. I'm done. This is Goblins playing round seven, the round of death. So many decks have fallen in this round. Will Goblins join them? It is of course really good to make it to round seven, but uh, if Goblins wins now, it will be top ten. So this deck list is by Jason Moore. He uh, I, he, I haven't talked to him about it. I just took a list I thought was good. So I don't have a real sideboard plan, which may put this deck into danger. But it's still in there and it's championed by Archibald. Good choice, Archibald. Here we go, playing against Surukuku himself, the master of Delverfiend. Oh my god. Not a great hand. But could I possibly mulligan that? What the hell? Whack here seems really bad. So I can't really do anything. And drawing a land there is probably super bad. Now he's going to use his query range, I'll kill in response to that. So now I have a death spark in my graveyard. He seems to be playing Stompy. That's a tough matchup for both decks, I think. Here's the guild mage. Hmm. Well, he has to die, even if it costs me. So I swing with the raider. Play the dust park in response. And then I can get them both back, right? Well, it doesn't matter if Death Park is above Death Park, does it? That's an interesting trade. Ranger guild mage, that's not stompy. What the hell is that? Okay. Get back to death park. And the whack. An attack. Damn it, this place is crawling with young wolves.
Yeah, they can probably hold off my attack for a long time. More Marshall. Really no point in attacking here. Double death bark to the face. Because I'm going to get both back now that War Marshal dies. Don't pay the echo. Raider. What a weird game. But as soon as he starts uh, getting lands. Oh, there's a target if there ever was one. Maybe death parking to the face is pretty ambitious. No, because that means it gets rancor. Then what? I'm flooding horribly, he has no mana. Death Park is back, oh my god! Okay. And this list has no fire blasts. Seven goblins to sacrifice before I can Death Park him to death. But that seems like the wrong way of doing things. I need a sparksmith. Where is the stupid deck list? Here comes the pit skull, because a one one. There we go. Do we want some dead goblins now? I think we do. Okay, we sacrifice. Target hits a sacrifice goblin. That spark is active. And the race is on. Red. Pretty expected. Death Park is back. And even more stupid lands. Taking four damage will hurt a lot. What the hell? Oh, 
Oh, I should have just barked. Ah, damn it. He's now controlling me. Here comes both the dust barks. And another mountain. The flood. That that is why it's better not that is better to get mana shorted than flood. Ledge Walker. Does he have any life gain but the Highlands? I don't think so. Well, we're on round 12 and he has found two lands. Not the mana more foes. I'm surprised at his list. Double Morphos. Okay, so I can do four damage of the fire. The Death Park. Firebolt. Nothing else. Well, this deck is definitely not in any sideboard plan I made. Got back to Death Park. A bolt. Doesn't want to trade. I have four damage in hand. I'm getting back one more Death Park next turn. So five damage. I have no need to do it on his turn. Maybe he can kill me, but I doubt it. If I hit him with one of my guys, I win. So it looks hard. The spark is back. Yay! Okay, I think I have some old cyborg plan with red green aggro in. Yes, it's in the cyborg plan, but I haven't noted anything on it. Okay, seem to have a lot of one ones. Life staffs. Martyr. But what the hell do you take out?
Is it really marker? Not sure about that. Maybe it's just live stuff. I think it might be matrons. Like this. Let's try that. Tell me how you would have sideboarded. God, I'm nervous now. I've had so many losses this round. And now I'm playing against this really great player. And he had really bad luck in the first match. In the first duel. Though so did I. Another one land hand. Triple lightning bolt must be pretty good. Conscripts. Great at attacking two young wolves. But now I really need another. Mountain. Mountain. Damn it. I want to take the initiative here, but it's hard, of course, without mana. But he has no real threat. And hopefully I can deal with any real threat. Mountain! There's the mountain, so what do I do then? I want the Quiver Ranger dead. He doesn't have... It's Sparksmith, right? He doesn't have red. Sparksmith and then just kill everything next turn. With bolts. Take the pain from this attack. No, block the Queer Ranger if he attacks with it. He isn't very lucky. There is the red mana. Ah, oh, God. That means Sparksmith dies. Not good. I want another mountain. That queer ranger has to die. On the other hand, let's just bolt his two twos. Trade with a conscript. Death Park the Queer Ranger. Interesting choice here. Do I bolt or do I Death Park? Now I allow him use of the Queen Ranger again. Block. Death Park. And 
No. I don't need to get the death block, right? So now I can just double bolt. Yeah. Oh, this is going super slow. I'm taking three again, but it will be all I can take. Still no red, I hope. Stupid queer ranger. Uh oh. Oh my god. Still can't get it back. Oh. Block bolt. I think that's it. I haven't seen any growth spells except hunger. Sigh. So now I'm taking five, I'm taking eight, that's probably enough to kill me. Block. I'm going down to one. Of course, the Rancor will kill me now if I don't have Death Spark to protect me. Yeah, I can't get out of this. Oh, wow, now I can get out of it. For a turn. That's not very interesting, but now I think I have to get the Death Spark. <sighs> but this is, of course, not a good position. So I'm death sparking the young wolf when it attacks and I block the nest invader. But then what? Then nothing. And it's off to the final duel. I never seen those life stuffs. They would have been good there. Really good, but alas, they were not to be. If I lose this, I will be 2 6 in this round. That's not what I expected this late in the gauntlet. That will be really, really bad.
But now I will take down Surukoki. I will get a decent draw. And crush him. Oh yeah. Yes. Keep. Incredibly defensive hand. And a bit floody. Ball Tim. Swing for one. Play the live stuff. Equip live stuff. Bushwalk. Bushwhack. Okay, that looks great. Equip it. Play the Raider. I think that's correct. Tack. Play live stuff. Take the pain. I don't see any red. Stupid Nettle Sentinel. Pit Skulk. Well. One for one in him should be okay. War Marshal first, right? So I can eat those two guys to Do I want to do that? Or do I just let the pit skull die? Yeah, because I want as big a bushwhack as possible. That's very ambitious to attack. What do you have? Last invader. Hunger would suck. Not paying. Of 
cohort whacked. Hull pack works great. Four one. Here we go. Electricity. Ah. Out. And no sledder. That's why I killed my raider. Pretty nice one. Okay, how do I recover from this? So my double life stats means that I can one for one anything. Maybe I should have been more restrictive and paid for that uh, war marshal. I really set myself up. Oh, boa. I think I'm gonna lose. Yeah, I'm gonna lose next turn, so I need to draw something. Oh, that's pretty good. Except that he now bolts it. I think I have to block. Uh, there is really no good way out there. Maybe life stats weren't as good as I thought. No doubt Matron would be more useful here. What the hell is that guy still doing in Vect? <laughs> oh my god. Not what I wanted to see. Yeah, I lost this. Damn it, another loss. And Goblins has been eliminated from the Pauper Gauntlet, and we are now 2-6 in this round. So maybe we'll have a final between uh, Burn and Stompy in round uh, 8. That's so be it, we got to round 9 last time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye Goblins.